It hasn't been a full day yet and the Miami Dolphins are still the talk of the NFL as Brian Flores' lawsuit continues to make national news. This morning, Flores made the media round speaking with CBS Morning, ESPN, and CNN. It is the first time since his lawsuit was filed that he has spoken publicly about it. On CBS, it was brought to attention that Flores' attorneys reached out to do the interview more than a week ago. This is important as it relates because the lawsuit was something that was just immediately filed over the last couple of days. It was something that was planned in advance by Flores and that they intended to make it as public as possible. This is not about painting Flores in any specific light. He is risking, or has risked his future in the NFL and maybe coaching in general to speak out against what he believes to be a racial injustice. So where do we stand now? What do we know so far? Here are the bullet points as of now. New York Giants denied the claims in a public statement. The NFL denied the allegations as false as it relates to the racial integrity of the case. John Elway has called the allegations completely false regarding him showing up disheveled in an hour late to his interview with Flores. The allegations of racial discrimination in this case is not directly pointed at the Miami Dolphins or Stephen Ross. The case, which is a class action lawsuit is leveled at the NFL and two teams specifically were named. Flores' lawsuit as it relates to the Dolphins is for wrongful termination based on a relationship that deteriorated based on his unwillingness to what he claims to be unethical requests. Flores is using specific actions to form the base of his complaint. In 2019, Stephen Ross offered to pay him $100,000 for every game he willingly lost. In early 2020, Stephen Ross tried to convince Flores to help lure a prominent NFL quarterback to Miami, now known to be Tom Brady. This included a pre-arranged meeting on a yacht with that quarterback. Flores claims he left before the quarterback arrived once he knew Ross' intentions. Flores, who spoke on CBS Morning earlier today, also claims that Ross told him to take a flight and go on vacation during the middle of the 2019 season. Another indication that Ross was trying to get the team to lose. The attorneys for Flores are hoping and have said that there will be others that join the class action suit. In terms of what this means for the Dolphins specifically, it is too early to know for certain. There are legal issues if Flores can and does provide proof about the alleged bribery to lose games in the tampering which might be hard to prove. The NFL will likely investigate even if behind the scenes. If the NFL does investigate or any other entity does, Chris Greer could be in the middle as he has been named by Flores as someone who was relaying information from Ross to Flores. That could have negative results for Ross.